Hello and welcome to the world of building design. This is tutorial number one, MEP tutorial. The first tutorial will focus on a mechanical project set up on Revit MEP. So as you can see, this is the first page of Revit MEP software that you encounter. Uh, first thing I want to do is I just want to press open and new, which are the under the model. So first I press on new. For starting a new project, I want to select the right template in the browser. I want to select the mechanical default metric, which is the metric unit for this project normally used in North America. And then open and then press OK. So we're going to load the mechanical template as a new project. Okay, so in order to start this project, I want to bring an architectural plan to, to show how we can set up the mechanical floor plan in alignment with an architectural plan. So to bring an architectural plan, I'm going to use the insert uh, command. So on the top, I use insert and then bring uh, architectural model. So link Revit. I'm going to my drive C on the Revit training. I'm going to use this architectural plan as a sample. Make sure that you position it as auto origin to origin. There are multiple choices. We'll discuss that on a different tutorials. For now, we're going to use origin to origin. Open. So my architectural plan is right here. This is the top view of the architectural plan. In order to see the three dimensional, you can press on this uh, house, little house button. When you press, you would see the three-dimensional of this uh, architectural sample. So this is a kind of high-rise building. In order to see the, the number of stories, I come to the left uh, browser uh, tab in here, project browser, and I open the East Mechanical Elevation. So I see that this is a 22 a story, 23 a story, uh, 22 a story um, elevation building. So first thing I want to do, I want to create um, other um, levels, mechanical levels in here. So these levels that you can see, these are all architectural levels and you can pick any of these lines uh, as, a, as a level. But what you can notice that there are two levels already created initially when you open a mechanical template. So what we want to do, we want to align this um, levels, these mechanical levels right in alignment with the architectural level. So as you can see, the, uh, the level one is well aligned on the architectural level. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on level one. And when you click on it, you see there's a round little grip here. You press on it, hold the button and pull it to the right side so that we can see clearly our uh, mechanical, mechanical datum line or level. But what I have to do, I have to, I have to make the correct alignment between my mechanical level and my architectural level. So I'm going to use alignment um, uh, command. So I press AL. You can get it from the tab in here as well, but I'm going to use a shortcut AL and then select the architectural uh, datum line as my destination and then press on my mechanical level. So basically my mechanical level comes down and uh, falls on, on, on the architectural level in the same alignment. 
press the escape a couple of times. Now I want to create more of a mechanical level, for example, level three, level four, and uh, all the way up. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to hover on level two, right click on it, and look for create similar, press on the create similar, and then another uh, command uh, box opens on the top. You see this one on the right side uh, with the green light line uh, is a pick line. I press on pick line and then what I'm going to do, I'm going to pick the level 3 datum line, pick the level 4, pick the level 5, 6, 7, and 8. I'm going to stop and then press escape a couple of times. This is just an example. I want to show you how I'm creating additional mechanical level. You see this, uh, this symbols on the left? This shows that we have created uh, an, another sets of level from level 3 all the way to level 8. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to hover on the level 8 in here. And you see that the line is highlighted. Left click and then the grip shows up. I pull the grip to the outside and then there is a little box here. I check the box and level 8 is shown up. Um, so you can do this for other levels you have created. Check mark, click on your level. This box shows up, check mark, etc. And these are on well alignment with your architectural um, levels. Okay. And as you can see, these levels are added to your left-hand side um, browser under the floor plan, one to all the way to level eight that we have created. So this is a tutorial number one on how to set up um, a mechanical layout and create the floor plan uh, similar to the number of floor plan that you have on your architectural um, underlay. Thank you for watching this video. I'm going to record and add more videos of this nature with respect to Revit MEP uh, trainings. Thank you.